Well, what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Nikolai Espresso, and welcome back to another Infinite Warfare video here today on the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about the equipment in Infinite Warfare, and this one, once again, take it with a grain of salt, take it how you will. Could be real, it could be fake, but we're going to be talking about this stuff, and it really does make sense. A lot of the stuff we have seen before, a lot of it plays into the new technology that we've seen previously, as well as showcased with Infinite Warfare. So, that said, if you guys like this video, be sure to drop a like rating down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with anything Infinite Warfare. But with that said, let's just jump right into it. Let's make it a little bit quicker here with this one. Let's talk about the equipment, and that being the lethals, tacticals, and other things alike. So, the list starts as C4, Claymore's, frag grenade, a mortar shell, a bouncing Betty, a proximity explosive, a marker disc, a bomb case, a semtex, a grenade thermo barrack, a throwing knife, a knife throwing smoke wall, a transponder, a concussion grenade, an EMP grenade, a flash grenade, a motion sensor, a smoke grenade, a trophy system, UAVs, directional UAVs, laser designators, manned minigun turrets, and a manned turret with a grenade launcher, manned little bird sniper, remote UAVs, remote mortars, remote mortar zoomed, and UAVs with a 3D ping, so it's similar to the Oracle mode that we saw in Ghosts. So as you can see, there's definitely going to be a lot more in terms of the way of customization and how you want to play with your lethals, tacticals, and other things alike here within the equipment category. And there definitely seems to be a lot of new things here within the game. Some of these may potentially be campaign only because I can't imagine that we'd be running around in Infinite Warfare with a grenade turret or something similar. Sentry guns, yes, or something, but a grenade turret would be definitely a little bit different. I know we saw some customization of streaks in Advanced Warfare, but I don't think people would really hop on board with that one. So, that said, I don't know if these are all going to be in multiplayer, and of course, all these could be real, all these could be fake. We don't know at this point in time, but I thought I'd cover them here for you guys and keep you guys in the loop with everything you may need to know. So, that said, it's a shorter one here today with this one, but the equipment is something that really isn't too big of something that may be leaked. I don't know if you want to call it that, but that's going to wrap it up here today, ladies and gentlemen. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below. Do you guys like any of these new equipment or do you like any of them returning? Actually, how do you guys feel about C4 returning? I think that's always a questionable one here and something that always stirs a little bit of controversy within the community. So with it supposedly returning, what do you think about it here with this one? So thank you dude, so much for watching. If you guys like the video, be sure to like, rating, double it. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. We're on that road to 50,000 subscribers, so every little bit does help. And of course, greatly appreciate it. But mine's been a cool espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.